body tapping is nothing new it's not no modern stuff it's got its roots in ancient Chinese Japanese history or many ancient cultures body tapping has its place as a health benefit body tapping in my opinion is a very very healthy and efficient way to address issues physically emotionally mentally and energetically so it it uh, even if you only do it for one reason let's say for the physical body you still get benefits emotionally mentally and energetically Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for this energy activation session. Today will be a little bit different than my usual collective energy sessions. I have finally decided to make a video about body tapping. So instead of having a Reiki integrated in this video, it will be body tapping integrated in this video. And I have pre-recorded the body tapping earlier and I will be using segments of it in order to explain. And then I will have the full body tapping routine at the end of this video. So that if you wish to watch the whole routine, it's about not quite 10 minutes long then you have the whole routine together so I thought that would be more beneficial than just having it segmented a few quick words to body tapping itself body tapping is nothing new it's not no modern stuff it's got its roots in ancient Chinese Japanese history um, I have a background in martial arts, Chinese martial arts, uh, Quan Fa, and I also practice Qigong and Tai Chi and some yoga. And in most or many ancient cultures, body tapping has its place as a health benefit. Body tapping is something that I have been doing for many, many, many years. And I find it very beneficial personally. Um, if you have been following my videos, then you know that I use a holistic health approach, uh, which means that I take our whole body physical and non-physical into consideration when it comes to health uh, meaning the physical body our emotional health our mental health and our energetic health which is uh, some people consider it our aura but there is much more to it so I take a holistic approach and um, see everything as a package and uh, everything I do benefits physically, mentally, emotionally, and energetically. So that being said, body tapping, in my opinion, is a very, very healthy and efficient way to address issues physically, emotionally, mentally, and energetically. So it, it, uh, even if you only do it for one reason, let's say for the physical body, you still get benefits emotionally, mentally, and energetically. It is, um, can be considered as a form of energy clearing and uh, energy activation. Hence, I did not put an extra Reiki video into this video because I have a um, body tapping routine instead for today's video. Okay. Body tapping is very customizable, meaning you do not have to do a whole routine every time you do it. Um, 
for instance in the morning when I turn on my shower and I'm waiting for the water to heat up I do a little body tapping around the solar plexus which uh, is our energy center the solar plexus sits uh, about an inch two inch below the navel on your belly and uh, that's our energy center from where energy gets dispersed throughout the body and I find it very beneficial to wake that up in the morning. So I do a little tapping around the solar plexus. I do a little tapping on uh, my liver, my kidneys in the back. And uh, just a couple of seconds, maybe 30 seconds to a minute until my shower water is hot and then I get in the shower. Um, I also like to do face tapping, body tapping, face tapping while I'm in the shower. Like I will hit these areas, these areas here because you have your lymphatic system sits underneath the skin. And um, the lymph nodes, you have some here, you have some here, uh, here by the ears. And if you tap lightly, now with the tapping itself, especially if you have um, thyroid issues, you might be careful around the neck area, but you can lightly tap here too. That's very beneficial as long as it doesn't hurt you. You want to be able to feel the taps, yes? And you do, um, like if you do on the neck, you can use your fingertips. Usually you use the flat hand. I like to use this part of my hand for tapping, like here for instance. Or I like to make fists and tap here. Yes, so like so or like so, that's up to you. Um, but if you're very sensitive, you can tap with your fingertips in the neck and face area. Uh, if if harder tapping is you know and you will uh, notice that once you do it for a while you um, are less sensitive and you can take harder taps or slaps whatever you want to re refer to um, so in the shower I sometimes do this area because it um, it helps drain the lymph fluid here and here if you have issues with uh, tight muscles around this area like if you uh, clench your teeth if you clench your teeth or grind your teeth at night then you have tight muscles here and uh, so tapping here especially when you're in the shower in the morning or in the evening can be very relaxing and very beneficial yes it also drains the lymph fluid you can tap here here this is these points are connected to your lungs and you can tap here and that also helps drain and I like to tap here because the the uh, area is close to your nose I use usually this part of my hand and I tap here but you can use your fingers if this is too heavy for you um, I like to do that in the shower and that only takes like 30 seconds uh, it doesn't have to be a 10 minute routine every time you do it that's why I like body tapping because it's very customizable it depends on how much time you have at any given moment um, that you can put a few taps in here and there if you have a lot of neck tension you can slap the back of your neck um, all the way up to your head to your skull bone and tap up and down here that will relieve neck tension uh, shoulder tension um, I don't want to go into too much tapping routines right now because I already recorded some this is just a few examples what you can do while getting ready in the morning or getting ready in the evening or even if you take a little break at work and you feel you have tension somewhere uh, tapping around the joints is very beneficial because we usually hold a lot of uh, tension, stress and energy around our joints and in our joints. So any um, joint parts where, where ligaments join the body basically, yes, here, 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 your knees, your ankles, uh, where the neck, the head, neck joints, the the body yes um, those are good points to tap um, a little bit more intense 
because that's where a lot of energy can get uh, stuck or a lot of tension can get stuck. That's where most people feel a lot of tension, okay? So like I already mentioned in the beginning, body tapping has a lot of health benefits. Uh, it is beneficial for the physical body, for your emotional health, for your mental health, and for your energetic health, if you so want. And uh, it can be done basically without any help. <laughs> All you need is your hands um, at any place, any time, wherever. You can always put in a minute or two of body tapping. Um, so you're not limited to a certain place or a certain time. You're not limited to having certain gadgets. You don't need anything other than yourself, your hands, your body. Um, so it's very versatile. It, it can be customized to your own needs. Yes. Um, it is very beneficial for the nervous system. It helps recalibrate the nervous system. So if you have depression or a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, body tapping will help you recalibrate your nervous system. It is very beneficial for the immune system. Body tapping can help you detox, which then helps the immune system uh, because the lymph fluids sit underneath the skin and when we tap our skin we basically move not just the um, the energetic part the energy but we also move the lymph fluids and uh, it's beneficial for not just the lymph fluids but also for our blood it's uh, beneficial for the cardiovascular system. It's beneficial for the lungs. It's beneficial for the kidneys. It depends on where you are tapping. But if you tap down your whole body, like the short routine that I recorded earlier, then you will get whole body benefits for, again, for your uh, nervous system, for your immune system, it's an immune support. It helps you detox because it moves the blood and the lymph fluids. Um, and it uh, helps you with inflammation. If you have inflammation in your joints, it can help with that. Uh, it uh, stimulates your cardiovascular system. It stimulates your lungs. It stimulates your liver and kidney function. Uh, it stimulates your bowel functions and your stomach, uh, especially if you tap around the solar plexus. So it has a lot of um, direct physical benefits along with the emotional and the mental health benefits. Yes. So uh, the physical benefits, you probably will feel the fastest or the soonest. Yes. Um, and then uh, the emotional benefits, if you look into somatic therapy, if you have depression, a lot of anxiety, if you do not know how to deal with your emotions, if you feel you have stuck emotions that you cannot uh, process, clear and release, body tapping can help with that. Um, especially when you uh, tap around the solar plexus, the stomach area, the groin area. Uh, women especially, but uh, humans in general, hold a lot of tension in their hips and in their groin area and in the lower back area because that's where our sacral chakra, our root chakra are, and the solar plexus is, yes. Um, so tapping in that area will help move process clear and release energies uh, as well as have the physical benefits for your body for your physical body for your organs yes if you suffer from depression which is a mental state mainly it starts mentally and then it uh, hits emotionally and lastly physically if you suffer from depression or anxiety a lot of stress if you have anxiety attacks uh, tapping this area here, where the uh, cl uh, cleavage bone here and here, this is your thymus gland. 
and tapping this area will affect the thyroid area here and plus the lymphatic system here yes and tapping here is your thymus gland which is where the heart chakra also sits and uh, this will regulate help regulate your nervous system this will help regulate regulate and recalibrate your nervous system slightly tapping if you have thyroid issues you may not want to put a lot of pressure here but even slight tapping here will help uh, get this stimulated and if you cannot do this here at all in this area maybe try the back of the neck if that is not possible either then just stick to the thymus tap which is right here where your breastbone is and this helps recalibrate your nervous system it helps uh, with the immune system it helps detox the body and um, this is the easiest way in my opinion to help with a lot of stress anxiety depression um, because this is like i said where the heart chakra is so this here will stimulate the thymus gland and then will stimulate the heart chakra and and um, uh, from there uh, it will go throughout your body from because the heart chakra sits in the middle uh, and uh, you have the three upper chakras you have the throat chakra you have the third eye and the crown chakra and then you have the three lower chakras which is the root chakra the sacral chakra and the solar plexus and the heart chakra is in the middle so once you start stimulating this it will go up and down yes and will stimulate your other chakras and will stimulate the rest of your body as well as i said it will recalibrate your service, uh, nervous system it will help with uh, boost your immune system um, help with your cardiovascular system now um, could you only be tapping here on a daily basis i guess you could i find it more beneficial to also work around the joints but if you have no time at all and if you can only do this for like a minute a day, then that will definitely also benefit you, okay? So body tapping basically affects the physical body, the emotional health, the mental health, and our energetic health. It helps move along energy that may get stuck like around the joints. It helps uh, recalibrate the nervous system. It helps with your immune system and uh, it will if you do it on a regular basis um, get your body towards homeostasis which is uh, basically a healthy body healthy emotional state a healthy mental state um, now will body tapping alone get you there that is only a question you can answer Yes, um, that depends on every single physical body. Yes, because I do not know whatever you conditions you're dealing with or whatever you're suffering from. Um, so I cannot say, but it's definitely a very useful tool to work for your overall health. Yes. When body tapping, I like to use mainly my fists because I like to feel that pressure when I tap yes uh, you can use your flat hand you can use this part of your hand which I sometimes use this area here um, in the face or the neck as I mentioned before if you're very sensitive you can use your fingers yes you do want to feel some pressure you do want to feel it but it is not supposed to be hurting you if it's hurting you then you're slapping tapping hitting too hard yes this is not supposed to be um some sort of punishment this is supposed to be um like a massage for the body yes and um the taps the the impact the movement feeling this um, will reset your nervous system yes especially when you're very anxious uh, have a lot of stress anxiety um, the the physical movement on your body will help recalibrate and reset your nervous system 
to calm it down, to get it to a more a balanced state. Yes. Um, so you do want to feel it, but it's not supposed to be painful. It's not supposed to be painful where you end up with bruising afterwards or you, you're in pain while you're doing it. It is not supposed to be painful. Um, now, that being said, everybody have, has a different um, pain threshold. So again, I like to give it some good taps or some good slaps. And that does not hurt me, but it may hurt you. So you just have to try it out, figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and go with there. In the beginning, you probably start a little lighter. And once you get into a routine and you do it regularly, you will be more used to it. And you probably slap a little bit harder or tap a little bit harder um, to the point where it feels good. It's supposed to feel like a body massage. Yeah. Now, as far as where to start, and uh, let me put this out there real quick. There are a lot of, a lot of great body tapping routine videos out there and articles also available online. So I do not want to go into too much detail, which routine and whatever, whatever. I put what I usually do as a smaller routine at the back of this video. And um, that being said, I usually do three repeats. So I think I just did one repeat for the routine I recorded. But let's say I do um, my arm, then I'll do three repeats up, down, or I go down, I go up, and I repeat that three times, okay? I usually do three sets, three repeats of everything I do, not just once. But if you only have time for once, then that's fine too. You will figure out and you can do 10 sets for each body part, whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah, whatever, um, again, how much time you have available, that is up to you. But I feel um, three is a good minimum. One is not enough for me. So when I do a full body tapping routine for myself, it's usually anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes, and that is very thorough. That includes uh, massaging the ears, that includes the head and the neck and everything. Yeah, and um, I also uh, incorporate uh, some energy flow in between, um, which is part of my Qigong Tai Chi routines. Um, so about half an hour is, is a routine for me. Yeah, but you can do five minutes, you can do 10 minutes, you can do two minutes, it's, if that's all that you have, you know. And you can target specific areas, especially if you're not um, not having enough time to do the whole body. Let's say you have had a joint, joint pain, you can um, shoulder pain, do that, or knee pain, you just tap your knees, tap around your knees, tap the back of your knees. Um, you want to work especially with the joints. You want to do the whole limb, yes, up and down, but especially around the joints, that's where we hold the most um, stress, tension, energy, whatever you want to call it, yeah? That's usually where we have, um, if we have pain, there's inflammation there, yes, one way or another. Um, so working with the joints is important, but if you only have time for one joint, that's you know, ailing you at that moment, then that's fine. For headaches, you can tap here. You can tap here. Tapping the top, the crown of your head is very beneficial. I like to do that with my flat hand. Yes. Um, again, here, it's up to you how hard or light you want to tap. I like to be able to feel it because it is a massage for the brain, literally. Um, but you do not want to end up with a headache. In fact, if I have a headache, I tap a little lighter and I still tap. That often loses the tension that's in there, uh, whether it's the back of my head or the top or the front. Um, if you have sinus issues here or here, tapping is very beneficial. Um, that can also lo loosen tension and it can loosen if you have stuck mucus here, it can help loosen the mucus. Again, in the face, you may not want to be using your fist. You might be wanting. And then it helps to 
use your fingers like so because you still want to feel it if you just do this that's not gonna do much yes if that's all you can handle then that's fine but you do want to at least have some impact with it if you take the time and do this yes so um, if you use the fingers use your fingertips and have it a little bit uh, where it uh, is at least noticeable not that you're bruising but that you can at least feel it yes so again there are a lot of good videos out there for different various different routines of body tapping again this is being done um, in as far as I know, most ancient cultures, uh, Asian cultures, uh, it's been done in yoga. Uh, so this is uh, not something new. So there is a lot of information out there and you can find anything from short routines of maybe five minutes to an hour routine yes so whatever works for you whatever fits your needs only you know what you need for your physical body for your emotional and your mental health yes i cannot tell you that but i don't want to go into too much detail because there is a lot of information out there i did however wanted to make a video because I find it very beneficial and very helpful and I think I mentioned body tapping in various videos but I've never really done a video on it so this this was the time today um, I like to start in the middle um, I like to start by swinging my arms and tapping my belly and uh, the back of my um, the my lower back basically where my tailbone is um, to get the energy circulated if you so want because in Qigong Tai Chi we work with energies in yoga too yes so it's not just about the physical body it's also about the energy the spirit the whatever you want to label it um, so I like to get started by swinging my arms and tapping simultaneously belly and um, my tailbone basically my lower lower back and get the energy circulated yeah to loosen it if you so want um, and then I start uh, in my belly area with my solar plexus my sacral chakra and my root chakra um, I will tap around the solar plexus and I usually do three rounds one way and then three rounds the other way. Now, I didn't do three times each in this video because that would have taken too long. But um, that's what I usually do. And then I go to um, liver and spleen and the stomach, the intestines. And I tap down the sides. And um, I think I will put parts of the routine in here just to show what I'm talking about um, and um, I also do the back especially the lower back and uh, the kidney area that is very important because the kidneys you you best reach through the back in the back of your your back <laughs> they're in your back and um, that is very important too so I tap that and when for the most areas of my body I like to use my fist just because I like that harder tap um, sometimes I use this part of my hand again for slapping but I, a, a lot of times I use my fist that's my personal preference but again you do you you do whatever works for you whatever feels good to you again it's not supposed to hurt but you're supposed to feel it yes um, but not to the point where you're bruised the next day um, so then I start the belly area and I do the ba the lower back, the kidneys, then I work my way up, then I usually do here, this area, then I do the thymus gland, then I do my shoulders and the back of my shoulders, then I do my arms, both sides, I usually start with one side, then I do the next, and again I do usually the arm three times up and down I work around the joints here and here um, the shoulder joints as well uh, then I usually go towards the neck and I do like to work the front of the neck the side of the neck and the back of the neck up to the skull bone then I usually do my face this area this area here 
here here I like to now I don't tap the ears because that's a bit difficult but you can massage the ears you can rub your ears there are a lot of uh, acupuncture points in your ears around along your ears your ear lobes here and up and down the ears um, we have lymph nodes here and here and here up and down so that's good to stimulate so I usually massage the ears for about a minute um, and you can do that simultaneously you don't have to do one ear first and then the other some people like to do this first and then that I like to do it together because it's just a little less time consuming time consuming um, and I like to do my forehead if you have a lot of again congestion here it's got to do this this area this area here you can massage here you can give your head a scalp massage but you can also just tap you can for tapping the head and face again if um, slapping on your head is too much you can use your fingers to tap on your head the back of your head I like to give it some real good slaps because I like to feel it and um, because I'm used to it I've been doing this for many many years so it, to me it's not painful but it may be painful to you so you might want to start out a little bit um, less uh, heavy and then you know work your way to where you're comfortable yes if you don't feel it at all then put a little bit more pressure because you're supposed to f again you're supposed to feel it but not to the point where where it's painful okay so um, when I'm done with the head and then I usually go down I sometimes I do the belly area again and the lower back again the tailbone area again then I move towards my hips because uh, again especially women but also men we hold a lot a lot of tension energy tension stress whatever you want to label it in our hips in our groin area in the um, solar plexus area the sacral chakra area and the root chakra area so i like to work on my hip joints and i do a lot of tapping there you can tap um, your butt cheeks too if you feel like you have a lot of tension there i think i skipped that today because it would have taken all too long but you can also tap your butt cheeks if you want that if you have sciatic nerve issues Please be very careful because if you tap the sciatic nerve too much or too hard, then you end up with sciatic pain. But you can still uh, slightly tap that area as well because it will loosen if you have um, a lot of, um, uh, how do you call it, stress and tension there. If you have tension there in your sciatic nerve, because your sciatic nerve runs basically through your hip and down your leg from your back so it comes from your back runs through your hip joint and into your all the way into your foot so if you have a lot of tension there then slight tapping that area especially your butt cheeks and around the hip area will bring relief just do not hit the nerve too not much because then that can cause the opposite then you might be in more pain afterwards and you don't want that um, yeah, so I do like to usually spend at least five minutes just on my hip and um, back area um, because there is a lot of tension there. And then I go down my legs. So I usually go down the back of my legs, come up the front of my legs. I do that three times and I tap around and on um, my knees. Uh, the joint area and then I go down the side of my legs and come up the inside of my legs so I go down the outer side of my legs and come up the inside of my legs also three times and also tap around my knee joint some more so that then for me completes the body tapping routine and then I sometimes do some more around the solar plexus and um, then what I did at the end was a quick energy renewal and that then basically refreshes, recalibrates your energy. Um, and I also did connecting heaven and earth where you basically connect the heaven and the earth 
Mm, this is a uh, uh, Qigong Tai Chi pose. Um, and I like to do that because it basically is the earth energy and the heaven energy. And I do that a couple of times. So you switch back and forth um, and you breathe with it, with the movement. Now, I, I did not, again, I kept this very short to um, not have... Um, it take up the whole video itself because I could have done a 30 40 minute routine but um, for someone who wants to do shorter you know but again you can do as many repetitions if you as you feel necessary you can um, if you don't have the time just do certain body parts I like to do um, at least two three times a week my whole body and then in between Whenever I take the time, I do certain body parts. Let's say um, I have a headache today, so I work on my neck and head and shoulder area. Or um, I have a backache, then I work on that. Um, that sometimes is target specific, where I feel I need it the most. Um, but about two to three times a week, I would I like to do a full complete body tapping because to me it is again it's energy clearing it's energy activation because you're hitting your chakra points you're hitting all kind of acupuncture acupressure points throughout your whole body so it's an energy clearing and then release if you can you do the routine bar feet if you can bar feet outside if not bar feet um, and that releases the energy into the ground, into earth, if you so want. Yes? So it's an energy clearing. It's an energy activation. It is physical for the physical body beneficial. It's emotionally beneficial. It is mentally beneficial. Yes? Um, and it is energetically beneficial. Okay? I hope this video brought some helpful information. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a message and I will get back with you. Again, there are already plenty of body tapping videos out there, so I did not want to get into too much detail. The purpose of this video here is more to explain the basics and to give you an idea of what this is about. Um, if you're interested, I may be able to do another longer routine but in general i don't i do body tapping for myself i don't do body tapping videos um i uh hope though that this at least gave some idea of what this is about and and uh, the health benefits that uh, you get out of it and uh, that it is something that you do not need any tools you do not need anything specific. You can do it anywhere, anytime, any place, and customize it to your needs. And I think that is important in this day and age where nobody really has time um, to take care of themselves properly. So uh, this is something that can benefit you physically, mentally, emotionally, and energetically. Okay? I uh, would like to thank you for being present, for taking the time, spending the energy here. And uh, I appreciate all your support. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to look at all my other videos. Um, I have a lot of uh, health related, pretty much everything I have is health related, um, health and energy related, self care related. I promote self care being able to take care of yourself whether it is physically energetically uh, emotionally mentally it doesn't matter i promote self-care because i truly believe that you have everything you need within yourself and uh, that you can use whatever you have to be the healthiest self you can be okay so the light in me recognizes that same light in you for we are all one one consciousness one light i see you i appreciate you i honor you so much love and blessings